right, well, today is March 11th, 2018, and we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see we still have partial jet stream flow into uh, Southern California right here. Uh, zero rain right now in the uh, foothills of Los Angeles. Now let's take a look at some of these maps here in a second. We have a low pressure system right here, and we have jet stream flow around that low as well. Plenty of moisture moving right through the uh, Hawaiian Islands right here and right into California. We can see uh, some high pressure separating this uh, low pressure system right up here. Get this thing focused. There we go. Take a look at some of these other maps. Uh, we had a little bit of drizzle, uh, not much. Uh, the total, uh, rain total for uh, Saturday and Friday evening was uh, 15 sixteenths of an inch. Fifteen sixteenths. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, rainbow map here. We can see that flow pattern right into California. Looking at the Doppler map, there is uh, currently no rain in California. Looks like there may be some right up here in the high Sierra, but otherwise there's nothing. Okay, let's look at the uh, Western U.S. Uh, water vapor loop, and we can see that flow pattern right into Southern California and Central California. So we have uh, transmitter manipulation continuing, and that is a breaking up the rain. We have uh, chemtrails in the skies. I could see uh, when I was outside today. I can see up through the uh, breaks in the clouds, and we saw the uh, jets spraying. So this is just a rerun. We're showing uh, the rain that should be falling, but it's not. Uh, once again, looking at the Doppler, we can see that there is some rain over here in the Arizona and New Mexico area, some snow in New Mexico. but uh, nothing in uh, California. All right, so looking now at the uh, southwest uh, infrared map, see California right up here, Southern California, Los Angeles, right there. We've got a whole new uh, deep area of moisture about to move in in the next couple of hours. That should bring a lot of rain. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, look at the uh, jet stream map next. We can see that flow pattern right into uh, Southern California and out through Arizona and New Mexico and into Mexico as well. All right, let's take a look next at the uh, East Coast. This is the uh, East Coast uh, mid-level tropical water vapor map, 6.9 micrometer wavelength. And we can see a new uh, low pressure system right here developing, which is slowly moving uh, to the uh, east. This has a rectangle on it. We can see that. That is a satellite transmitter at work. Okay, so this is just a quick update. We've got the uh, time change and all that. Daylight savings. So it's uh, time to get to bed. And uh, so this uh, system here, we'll keep an eye on, uh, but we do see a lot of manipulation there that it will uh, separate the uh, moisture winding into that low. Eventually, we'll see the frontal system uh, separated, and we'll have just a dry low left over. We'll have to see what happens. All right, so for the West Coast, we should be having a lot of rain with this pattern right here. See that deep flow pattern moving right in. We should be having rain right now, but there's nothing, nothing on the Doppler map. Okay, that's it. We'll do another update uh, probably uh, later today or tomorrow. That's it.